Hey, listen, do you fancy a bit of our okay to Ginger Ninja? Well, go on then. I said I wouldn't say vaudeville again, but I love saying it. So let's say Ringland Brothers Circus. The Ringland Brothers Duffy Circus on Sky News this morning. There's a mad, madhouse. Sky News is persisting with reading the death notices of random people. Not well-known people, but random folks who have allegedly died of coronavirus. Like Eileen from Swinton, say. Or Ed from Basingstoke. Or Richie from Salford. <laughs> and the presenters are speaking in sombre voices. I love Kay Burley. Let's have a listen. This is Kate this morning, very excited with herself. Kay Burley. I'm from the Lake District to the Pyramids coming up in just a few moments' time. We are going to be taking you live to the Pyramids uh, for the latest in our series of Virtually There. You can't travel at the moment. so Can't travel at the moment. At the moment, so we're bringing the Pyramids to you. That to come <laughs> very shortly indeed. And then at half past nine... Of She's doing a thing every morning where... She's speaking to somebody at one of the world's wonders because we can't go there. So it's virtual tourism with Kay Burley. Bet you Alan Wicker is shitting himself if he's still alive. Right, anyway. And of course, we will be seeing Ian King live. Ian, is he still alive, Alan Wicker? Uh, with his new show, which starts at 9.30 till 10 and then, of course, uh, again at 1.30 till 2. So so she's very jolly. She sounds very jolly. She's delighted, right? We're off to the pyramids shortly and we have a new show from Ian King. She's delighted and she's reading the auto cue. Two, so lots of changes for you here. And in a second, she's going to realise that she has to read out some random dead people's names. On Sky News, <laughs> the breakfast show going through until half past nine. Lucky you. May the oh, lucky us. Fourth be with you. Um, May the fourth be with you too, Kay. Um, you're watching Kay Burley at breakfast. I um, want to tell you about what's happening as far as coronavirus is concerned, though, <laughs> and sadly, the deaths continue to rise. More than 28,000 people have now contracted coronavirus and sadly passed away in hospital and, and also in care homes around the UK, as they say at the Daily Briefing, in other settings. But behind every single one of those numbers is a tragedy. The eldest person to have died was 108, the youngest just five years old. Five. Among them was Danny Cairns. There's Danny, look at that smile. Danny <laughs> was 68 years old. He's from Greenock in Scotland. Um, just three days after contracting the virus is when Danny sadly died. He was one of the first in Scotland to die with COVID-19. Ah, uh, but at least there's that then. At least he was one of the first to die. He survived by his wife, Eunice. Thoughts are with you, Eunice. And his brother. And uh, as his brother, Hugh describes him, his best friend. Oh. His wife, Eunice, survives him. And his brother, who described him as his best friend. Max She's holding back tears, Kay. In Maxine Fries, she was 79 years old when she died with the virus. She was a retired secretary and loved gardening. She was born and raised in Australia, but lived with her family here in Twickenham. And she loved gardening. In southwest London. Brian Hood. He was one of our own, a production editor at the Evening Standard, where he worked for 25 years. 25 years. Uh, first as a sub-editor, and then on the business pages. He had been admitted to hospital for cancer treatment. He was admitted to hospital for cancer. Treatment, but died at the age of 67 after contracting uh. COVID-19. Our thoughts are with the families of all of them. This deadly disease that continues to claim lives. <laughs> What's the Prime Minister going to do about lockdown? When will be eight, six weeks today since we first went into lockdown? What's he going to do about it? Should we be wearing masks? When Should will we? we be able to go back to work? All those questions and more. Answering some of them after the break. Wow. Yeah. And then Kay went on the virtual tourism thing. Do you want to hear some of that for the crack? I'll go on then. Mark Boyarski joins me in about four minutes' time. Mark is standing by in Spain. It's warm there, I'd say. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. This virtual thing now. Because we can't go anywhere. We can't go and see the pyramids. I couldn't anyway. I couldn't afford it. But even if I could afford it, we can't go because of the lockdown. So Kay is bringing us a trip 
to some of the world's ancient wonders every morning on Sky by speaking to somebody live via video link from the said wonder, whichever one it happens to be. Ah, it's a thing of beauty, this. Yeah, on the Cape Early Show this morning with the lockdown in place, foreign travel obviously off the table. So we're taking you from your living room to the pyramids of Egypt in the latest edition of our Virtually There series. We've had one or two technical issues. Let's see if we can fix it. My Saeed is an Egypt Egyptologist and tour guide. He is in Cairo for us. Hello to you. He. It's obviously a woman. To you. Go on, Kay. Hello. Can you hear us? <laughs> I don't think that they can. We can sort of just make out the uh, pyramids uh, just behind the it. As you know, so many people can't travel at the moment. It's still the best holiday I've had, Kay, for a long time. Because of uh, lockdown and it doesn't look as though aviation uh, is likely to take off again anytime soon. So See what she did there? Aviation is unlikely to take off again anytime soon. We were hoping to uh, take you to the pyramids. Um, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try that for you tomorrow oh, instead. Um, do it now. Oh, can you hear me? Nah. Yeah, I can. Oh, you can. Hey, fantastic. Tell me what's going on there at the moment. Well, uh, at the moment, everybody's at home. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. So what difference is that well, making to life at the pyramids? What's going on there, says Kay? Well, fuck all, Kay. They've locked down the whole country just like everybody else. So the pyramids are all by themselves at the moment. Yes. <laughs> well, the, the site is actually closed, but hopefully it will be reopened again soon. And uh, it is... I'm not buying shares in Kay Burley's virtual tourism company anytime soon. Fucking useless. Nobody there. It's fascinating to be very far from the site as you see it behind me. We miss it so much and I'm pretty sure that most of the tourists around the world can't wait to come back as it's an everybody bucket list to be in Egypt and to see the pyramids of Giza. I'm sure that's true. Last time I was in Cairo, the, I found the climate, uh, the weather actually, to be uh, the, 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 to be very difficult because I suffer from asthma and there's quite a lot of um, pollution in the air, isn't there? What's it like given that everybody's in lockdown? The Cairo Tourism Board is sitting there thinking, you fucking bastard, Burley. <laughs> You're supposed to be talking the place up, not talking about the pollution. Everybody's in lockdown at the moment or you have left visitors. Excuse me? What's it like? She's horrified that Burley started talking about pollution there and asthma. <laughs> Have you a visitors? Have you any visitors? Can you hear me? Well, we don't have visitors now. There's fucking nobody here, Gabe, because of the lockdown. How many times do I have to tell you, you ginger fuckwit? There's now, but it's, it's, it's very uh, complicated around the whole world as COVID-19 is going to change the whole culture of traveling not only to Egypt. So the coming future is for traveling in very small, tiny groups, individuals, and the future is going to be for tourism country, tourism companies who can arrange that. So people will be with all the precautions and we have to coexist with the virus as it is around the world. So as the world is going so slow, into the coexistence with the COVID-19, we should pay more attention to traveling in more small groups, to be in different destinations, open yeah. destinations, and not to be in so crowded museums and etc. Everything's going to sure. change. Good to talk to you. Really appreciate you taking the time. One or two problems with the signal there, but we appreciate you persevering. Thank you, Maya. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Maya. Who's a girl, by the way? You're welcome, Kay. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. Go on, Kay. Be able to go Where are we going next? Her. Where are we going next on Kay Burley's virtual tourism program on Sky, which is supposed to be a news channel? Where are we going next, Kay? Go and see the pyramids um, for some time. So uh, you're not going anywhere near the pyramids for some time, says Kay. <laughs> so um, next week we're going to take you to Las Vegas. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We're off to Las Vegas next week. Vaudeville. <laughs> This is Bruce Springsteen with Viva Las Vegas on the Richie Allen radio show. Come on, hit me now.